A warm welcome from New Brunswick. My name is Isabel Cutler and I am the parish nurse here at Christ Church Cathedral, which is the Anglican Cathedral in Fredericton. I've been a parish nurse here for seven and a half years and I have a very active health ministry. My name is Nancy Wiggins and I've been a parish nurse at St. Margaret's Anglican Church uh, for about 15 years now. A parish nurse is a registered nurse who has additional training and who feels a call to a ministry of health, healing and wellness. And this is towards leading towards wholeness of body, mind and spirit. A health ministry is really an extension of the ministry of our Lord. When he was on earth, he was um, healing, preaching, teaching, and we continue that ministry in our care for one another. We're really a grassroots organization, and we know people often right from birth right through to the end of life, and um, that helps us to provide a continuous circle of care for people. And that circle of care includes the healthcare system, it includes governmental agencies, other agencies, families and friends, but we're also here to help provide and support people at critical times in their lives. The health ministry really has established, I think in a very strong way, a sense of mutual care for one another. And beyond simply, hello, how are you on a Sunday morning, into the week and throughout the, the, the gathering of people. Our goal is to excite you and encourage you to consider developing a health ministry within your faith community of any Christian denomination. The whole essence of a health ministry is about our body, mind and spirit, the whole person and that's who we want to look at and that's why we um, develop programs within our health ministry that looks at each part of us. What we bring as, as registered nurses is our professional nursing practice to a health ministry. And how that looks like a little bit is that we would maybe would do some one-on-one -on -one counseling, personal health counseling with people. We might also have group support counseling. Part of our health ministry is a ministry of wellness. So we provide health information sessions for people. Health information sessions provide education towards the prevention of illness or care of chronic conditions. We have a fit club here, um, which is a physical activity once a week, which enables um, congregational members to come together and to uh, build up their strength. Hi, I'm Andrew Cutler with Freedom Fitness. I lead the uh, fit club. It's part of the parish nursing health program. A lot of these people actually had no experience with physical exercise, though they had healthy and rich spiritual lives. So it's a really nice compliment to some people who uh, what we call balance the contemplative with the physical life. We have a, a wonderful visiting program. Um, this ex has expanded and enables uh, a number of people to visit our um, people at home who no longer can be part of our church community in the regular sense, coming to worship services or part of our life here together and just visiting them on a regular basis. We have a Helping Hands program and Helping Hands is typically of many churches uh, where it would be to support people at a critical time, driving them to doctor's appointments, uh, making meals for them, whatever the congregation feel they have the time and the uh, gifts to offer. Really and truly, it's been terrific. I've, had, I've received far more help than I ever imagined that would be possible. Thanks to Isabel and the parish ministry and helping hands, I've had help with my garden, which really is, that's my main reason for being. I love to, but since I've been disabled, my, my ability to do much gardening is somewhat limited. This seeks to, to deal with the whole person, their, their soul, their spirit, their body, and their emotions and, and their spiritual life as well. So it takes all encompassing outlook, and so therefore addresses those things in a broader perspective. 
To start a health ministry doesn't necessarily mean you're reinventing the wheel. Um, you often can build on what you already have within your own church community. And that's the first step, perhaps to look at what you're already doing um, within the church. And many churches are, are often doing something. And also what's important is for the whole congregation to look at their time and their commitment and what gifts they have to offer that would be able to complement a health ministry. Um, I want to stress that a health ministry on its own really requires very little money. It's just, a bit, it's just to get things started. And so what is so important is the intentional commitment to, to a health ministry. Examples of programs your church ministry could implement includes programs which has important roots in supporting people when they're at home alone and would like to reconnect with their friends in the church. Congregations prepared to deepen their commitment may consider forming a parish nursing ministry. This is a team ministry working with the clergy, the health ministry team, and other related ministries. It requires hiring a parish nurse and optimally providing a salary and office space. There have been some changes in our, in our congregation for sure. Uh, some people who were quite isolated, uh, almost reclusive, have come out and be have begun to participate in church activities. Parish nurses, we feel, are leading the way with the help of our uh, church people, sharing our gifts and talents, and the church is reclaiming its place in health care. To get more detailed information, um, Isabel and I are certainly available to answer any questions you have. Uh, the Canadian Association has a website, capnm.ca, and uh, a wealth of information is there. Um, anyone who's been involved in a successful health ministry will love to tell you about it.